Virginia's Democratic lawmakers are renewing their push tonight to try to get Governor Glenn Youngkin to sign what they are calling the Right to Contraception Act. It would create a law guaranteeing access to a wide array of contraception medications and devices. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey explains why lawmakers rejected the governor's version of their legislation. This stack of petitions bearing the signatures of 37,000 Virginians, just one way Democratic lawmakers lobby Governor Glenn Youngkin to sign the right to contraception bill approved by the House and Senate. The petitions were delivered to the governor's mansion just days before a bill signing deadline. One of the measure sponsors says guaranteed access to all contraception is crucial. Supporters of the measure fear, much like the Dobbs decision stripped away abortion rights in many states, the Supreme Court could also overturn precedents that protect contraception. This particular measure will ensure that Virginians have mm -hmm. those protections in place should any federal action happen. But instead of signing the bill, Youngkin sent lawmakers a substitute measure. This is the detailed bill that lawmakers approved, defining contraception, preventing any restrictions, and setting up enforcement through a civil penalty. The governor's substitute, not a new law, but a policy statement that Virginians have a right to access contraception under current Supreme Court precedents. We know that we need more uh, teeth in terms of having protections in place. Uh, so when the governor gutted the legislation, he really made it uh, entirely meaningless. It serves no purpose uh, to protect reproductive health care and contraception. In Wednesday's reconvened session, the Democrat-controlled House and Senate let Youngkin's proposed substitute die. That means the original bill is now back in his hands. A spokesman tells News 4, Governor Youngkin has been consistently clear that he supports access to contraception, but desires to protect Virginians' constitutional rights and religious liberties. If he doesn't sign the bill, then he is working against the wishes of over 80 percent of Virginians who do support the right to contraception. So I hope that the governor is listening, listening to Virginians, listening to the people he represents, and that he is going to do the right thing by signing the legislation. The governor has until May 17th to make a decision. Reporting for News 4, I'm Julie Carey.